What's up, gamers? Today, we're going to be looking at monks, which you can get right now from the event store for 2,800 gold. In this video, we're going to be looking at how she performs in-game, the build I run with her, and my overall rating of her. If you end up liking the video, like the video, and subscribe, it would be really appreciated. I don't know how often I'm going to upload, or the consistently, or any of that, but the majority of the viewers, don't subscribe. It's free. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So the commander perk from Monks here is Monking Around Plus. Canoe Storm now throws 15 banana peels that last for 8 seconds and knock down and stun enemies for 2.3 seconds. This deals 12 base damage. This is very similar to a lot of things that we already have in the game. Canoe Storm is an ability that keeps on getting perks or had kept on getting perks which uh, drop additional things such as daggers and well in this case banana peels. So, something else that I could drop, for example, is crystals, which may just deal damage. But in this case, banana peels, they do deal damage only a little bit, but they also stun and knock down enemies, which a lot of the other perks for Kino Storm do not do. It kind of spawns the bananas in a semisphere shape, which I'll show in game later, but it's a really unique spread and it's very consistent. So let's get into the build here, obviously we have Monks as the commander. For the team perk we have Happy Holidays, which reduces your ability cooldowns by 40%. It stacks independently from all the cooldown reduction perks, but we don't have any of those in this build. This build is very similar to the video I did last year by the way, the one with the Shark Launcher. In this video I'm literally just going to be focusing on the ability. For the support team we have Extermination, Can I Storm now drops eggs which deal 37 base damage. This is what I was saying, it only drops eggs which do damage but it does a lot more damage than the bananas, it has no other effects though. Hang Time, using Can I Storm, grants hover for 4 seconds which increases your damage by 40% during the hover, so everything after your Can I Storm initial hit is going to be 40%, including the Can I Storm I'm pretty sure. Annihilation, daggers from Kanoi Storm explode shortly after impact dealing 4 base energy damage in a 0.25 tall radius. Even though this is less damage than the, the bananas, it is an AoE, so you're going to be hitting more husks if they are in a horde. Crystal daggers, Kanoi Storm unleashes 12 crystal daggers which seek targets and deal 32 base damage. Uh, I forget the name, Razor, Razor for me is one of the best Kanoi Storm heroes in the game, if not the best. This can output a lot of damage, especially if you're running her default, what is it? Her default is 96 base damage, which is a lot more than 32, but 32 is still extremely high considering everything in this build has been less than 32, except for the 37 on the eggs. Pretty cool. Can I storm eliminations, decrease can I storm cooldown by two seconds. This is just so that we can get it out more, and then for our gadgets, same old, same old. Let's uh, let's get into game and show off monks. Okay, so we're in, and uh, yeah, let's just get our initial test on Kanoi Storm here. Let's just get the attention of these guys, bring them out here into the open. Come on, come on, we want all of them. I'm trying to round them up here, they're extremely slow. I just want to get them in the open. Okay, and then. Whoop. The whole horde is dead, crystal daggers, everything, right? So the bananas, as I said, it's in like a semisphere shape. It's not super consistent, but it, it's meant to be a semisphere. We saw the crystal daggers, we saw the eggs. Everything in a horde is going to die using Kanoi Storm. I said this before, I said this in last year's video, Kanoi Storm is probably the most powerful ability in the game, in my opinion. Oh, oh none of the crystal daggers went for that guy, but pretty much one shot. Oh, Whiskey Husk? Oh! Oh! Well, he fell over the bananas. That was a good demonstration, actually. Let's try that again. This is a solo 140, by the way. Ooh. We still didn't kill that guy. Interesting. Uh, I've never... Oh, oh, something over bananas. I've never looked into how the crystal dags work with the tracking, but I seem to go in the middle. So any husk that is still in the middle of the Kanoi Storm is getting tracked. If it's outside the middle, the Kanoi Storm just won't track it, apparently. A lot of damage, the Crystal Daggers are doing about 21,000 each, which I've noticed, and that's pretty high. Well, I did say that the, the Daggers are the 
you know, you get the most damage out of them. Uh, let's try and get all these guys into one spot and then we'll look for a miss monster. There is a, a healer here, so that'd be interesting how that might work. Yeah, well, it took out the healer, but everything around it didn't get hit because they weren't in the middle. They are slipping over the, the, uh, the bananas right now, which is pretty funny. Let's try that again. That wasn't such a good hit. And, yeah, the crystal dagger just didn't track them. They're slipping over the bananas, though, which is kind of funny. Uh, the bananas aren't super powerful. It's really good at stalling. So if there are, like, a ton of husky husks and it is immediate danger, you can easily just stall with this if it's not killing them. Uh, hopefully this is going to be better than last year's video. Purely because, um, what you call it? I didn't do last year's video in a solo or a 140. It was very inaccurate and I did it with a shark launcher. Which, you know, wasn't great. I probably won't complete the storm chest here, but... Actually, let's pop our hover turret as well, because we won't be doing this alone. As you can see, our cooldown is extremely low also. The lack of energy is appearing to be an issue though. I'm going to have to pop another hover turret here, or else we're not going to complete this. Uh, we need more energy. Huge horde here. Okay, so energy is a big issue in this build. If you're taking get like huge encampments and stuff, and in this case storm chests. Oh, so yeah. didn't take out enough boosts. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. We didn't get to finish the storm chest, but to be honest, I'm supposed to go out for. Even with the hover turrets and a solo 140. Um, is that a miss monster over there? It is a, is that a smasher or a blaster? It's a smasher. It's a water smasher. Our energy crystal daggers are going to be doing a lot more damage. And, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just... Well, ah, oh, fuck, okay, forget that. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's try that again. Uh, let's try not to fall off this time. Yeesh, okay. Well, compared to a smasher's health bar, Knight Storm isn't going to be doing a ton. I have specified already though, this is for taking out hordes, not big bosses like smashers. Let's try again while he's kind of knocked down here. Yeah, this might take a while. That was two kind of storms, we might just get to halfway and then just double it. Uh, he did slip over a banana then though, which was interesting. Eesh, that's three. So I'm guessing about four for halfway. Where'd he go? Oh. Yeah, about half health, that's four Kano Storms. It's going to be about eight Kano Storms to take out a single Smasher, which is water. Which is bad. There are a lot more heavy dealing abilities, heavy damage dealing abilities. But they aren't better AoE. This is really good AoE, and as I've said several times, you are going to be taking out encampments and whatever with this ability. Not single targets. And that's probably going to do for this video. Uh, Monks is really good. I do recommend you pick Monks up if you're ever going to run any sort of Crystal, crystal storm, no storm build. As you saw, the the bananas with the uh, knocking down targets after they get back up, it's quite effective, and that extra damage it might just do it. So uh, if you ended up liking the video, like the video and subscribe. Uh, apart from that, though, I'll see you next video. Goodbye.